In this demonstration, you'll learn management and visualization options for objects and zones in Fluent Meshing. The model tree shows object level hierarchy. Right click for context sensitive menus. The model level menu contains global operations. Object level menus allow global draw all or select all. Geometry objects contain information about the physical size and shape of all of the parts. The Shift and Control keys are used to select multiple objects before accessing the context menu. Mesh objects contain information about surface triangulation and volume fill, along with geometric detail. Unreferenced contains entities that are not associated with any object, plus menus for managing them. Zone-based operations continue to be available from the menus. Roll over any tool button and the on-screen help is displayed. The top two buttons control the on-screen help and tool button display. Selection filters and common graphics display functions are in the large group. Tool buttons on the bottom of the graphics window represent possible operations in the current context. Buttons on the left will not change the mesh or topology. Buttons in the middle group may. I can repeat the visualization effect by pressing the control key while selecting the object. Restore the display with clear selection and unhide. Several selection and viewing options are available. For example, I can select objects based on similar curvature or size. Enhanced object selection tools include All Visible, Box Select, and Polygon Select. Clear the selection, Show Edges, and then enable Node Selection Filter. Zoom and rotate to view a single vein. Tools to assist in viewing size and dimensions are available. For example, you can show the distance between two nodes on the graphical display. The Escape key is used to deselect nodes individually. I can display multiple dimensions simultaneously. Turn off the distance display with the Clear Selection tool. The model tree is used to select and display the outlet objects, which need repair. Rotate and zoom to see multiple objects plus a hole. I will set the larger outlet object as the target. The smaller outlet fragment zone is easily transferred to the target object, and the now empty object is deleted. A single button gives quick access to loop creation tools, which can be used to close the hole. The node selection tool is automatically activated when in loop selection mode. Use the previous view button to zoom out without interrupting loop selection mode. The default path follows the nodes along the shortest path on the object. The loop can be made to follow a feature, a zone boundary, or the shortest path. The loop is closed with a single click. A capping surface, face zone, is created and automatically added to the still active target object. You may now turn off the target. When merging zones, the merged zone takes the name of the first selected zone. To redraw the full model, I first use the global draw all for the geometry objects then add the Mesh object from its Draw Options menu. The Clipping Planes tool is readily available and highly intuitive. Press Ctrl-T to open the Miscellaneous Tools menu, then Ctrl-P to enable Preview. Preview indicates expected minimum and maximum mesh size using virtual cells. Turn off Preview with the Clear Selection button. This concludes this demonstration of visualization and management tools.